Is it your This is the middle of the tree. This is like the heart of the tree. This is what they use to make rito hats. And this part of the tree, this is the tree that we mainly use to make um, ukaro hats, kiko hats, like decorative um, kiko things. On the outer part of the tree, this is what they use to make baskets to carry taro. The broom, it depends. You can either use the one just next to the hut or you can just use the outside one. But it depends because it has to be long. You have to strip it just to get the spine. The most delicate things made out of kiko is from the hut. The more rougher things is made from the outside, like making the roofing. This, the outside this is what they use to make it. So this is the hat. In Cook Island Māori, it's called Pariukaro. So you can make a closed one and then a open one. Ah, so when you look at the kiko, one side comes to the left, one side comes to the right. If you are right hand, you take the part on the left. If you are left hand, you take the part on the right. So that it will be easier. So you just grab one kiko, put it around your head, and you just rip it off. That's the head size. And then you, you line it along the thing. Where you start from your kiko, you put it here. And you know, that's where you cut it off. And you count. One, two, three. So when you're making the kiko hat, you always have to have it in even numbers. Starting from 16, going up uh, 18 and 20, and higher and higher, depends the size of the person's head. And you just bend it so it can be flexible. Just thin it a little bit. You, you, if you thin it too much, it will go into the kiko. And that will just stuff up the whole process. And you have to make sure that it's really flexible. And you just go, you twist it around, grab your piece of string, and you tie it. Aye. So I'm from Achu, and one of my trips to Achu, one, my, one of my mamas told me how to make this hat. So ever since I was young, I, I loved Kiko. I loved making things. And when I went to Achu, that's where I learned most of the stuff, like making baskets, making hats, um, bags, fans, everything. Um, it's important because, you know, some our culture is starting to die. Not much kids know these kind of things. So it's nice to learn. In the outer islands, majority of the kids, they know these kind of things, plaiting, weaving. But in Narodonga, you know, the kids sometimes, like, they, they're not really interested. It's really important to have it tight, because if you don't have it tight, you can just snap, and they will just open your hat. Won't look nice again, ruin the whole thing. So when you make the hat, it's just a up, under and over, under and over rhythm. So you grab one, put it over, bring it under, and then bring it over, bring it under. You just have to make sure the first three that you do, it's open so you can slide it back and connect it. And then you pull it up through the holding. You just grab it again, over, under, over, under. <laughs> get to the end, you have to slide it on, like what I said at the beginning, you have to make sure that the first three is open so that you can just slide it through. So now that we're getting towards the end, over, under, and then over. The, the bottom of the hat. Now you just tighten it. Pull the fonts because you want it to be really tight. So yeah, you just keep on going around and tightening it. 
and that's the bottom of the head. So now you, we have to make the top. You hold the eight up, and you you get one out. Not from the eight, a different one. And tuck this one in so it doesn't fall out. Grab the next one from the back that follows it. See how the head is forming now. You just have to keep on doing it under. While you're going, you need to tighten your key cords. And then the first eight that you are holding, you get the closest one. So you're, you're sliding it in the bottom. So you keep sliding it, layering it, and tightening it all at the same time. But you always have to make sure that you get the one right next to it. And soon you'll just come back to the first one that you started on. Then you get to your last one. And then you just slide it through. So this this one that I'm doing is just a, is an open top. But when once everything is done, you have to tighten it because you don't want your head to be loose. It will just fall apart. And that's how you make a pare ukaro. It's really easy, so just give it a go. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.